we will be on chapter 4 or surah 4 uh ayat 148 so what we would do is um well first let me see if uh What we're going to do, we're going to read one section each. So we will go, uh, each of us will read one section and just continue to go in order. Um, just so you guys know, at the end, we would like to dialogue about what stood out to you. So make sure that you kind of jot down some things that stands out to you so that at the end, you know, you may have something to share. Uh, Sister Kavasi, you got your hand up. Uh, did you want to read? Yes, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. I'll uh, read. All right. So, uh, we're going to start with ladies first. This time, yesterday I started. All right, then, Brother Sean. So here's the order that we are going this morning. Sister Kava, then Brother Khalil, then I'll go, and then Brother Sean. All right, so uh, Sister Kava, you can go ahead and start with uh, part six. Okay. Okay, just so I'm sure. So I'm just going to the section, so I'm going to stop at 153. So that's the new section. Uh, let's see. Because it's so short, uh, you was finishing the part, just stop at uh, section 23. Okay, yes, sir. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah loves not the public utterance of hurtful speech except by one who has been wrong. And Allah is ever hearing, knowing. If you do good openly or keep it secret or pardon evil, Allah surely is ever pardoning, powerful. Those who disbelieve in Allah and his messenger and desire to make a distinction between Allah and his messengers and say, we believe in some and disbelieve in others and desire to take a course in between. These are truly disbelievers. And we have prepared for the disbelievers in a basin chastisement. And those who believe in Allah and his messengers and make no distinction between any of them, to them he will grant their rewards. And Allah is ever forgiving, merciful. The people of the book ask thee to bring down to them a book from heaven. Indeed, they demanded of Moses a greater thing than that, for they said, Show us Allah manifestly. So destructive punishment overtook them on account of their wrongdoing. Then they took the calf for a God after clear signs had come to them. But we pardoned this and we gave Moses clear authority and we raised the mountain above them at their covenant. And we said to them, enter the door, making obeisance. And we said to them, violate not the Sabbath. And we took from them a firm covenant. Then for their breaking their covenant and their disbelief in the messages of Allah and their killing the prophets wrongfully and their saying, our hearts are covered. Nay, Allah has sealed them owing to their disbelief. So they believe not but a little. And for their disbelief and for their uttering against Mary a grievous calamity. And for their saying, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they killed him not, nor did they cause his death on the cross. But he was made to appear to them as such. And certainly those who differ therein are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge about it, but only follow a conjecture. And they killed him not for certain. Nay, Allah exalted him in his presence. And Allah is ever mighty wise. And there is none of the people of the book but will believe in this before his death. And on the day of resurrection, he will be a witness against them. So for the iniquity of the Jews, we forbid them the good things which have been made lawful for them. 
and for their hindering many people from Allah's way, and for their taking usury, though indeed they were forbidden it, and their devouring the property of people falsely. And we have prepared for the disbelievers from among them a painful chastisement. But the firm in knowledge among them and the believers believe in that which, is, which has been revealed to thee and that which was revealed before thee and those who keep up prayer and give the poor rate and the believers in Allah in the last day. These it is to whom we shall give a mighty reward. Section 23, previous revelation bears out Quranic statements. <clears throat> Surely we have revealed to thee as we revealed to Noah and the prophets after him. And we revealed to Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the tribes and Jesus and Job and Jonah and Aaron and Solomon. And we gave to David a scripture. And we sent messengers we have mentioned to thee before and messengers we have not mentioned to thee. And to Moses, Allah addressed his word, speaking to him, messengers, bears of good news and warners, so that the people may have no plea against Allah after the coming of messengers. And Allah is ever mighty, wise. But Allah bears witness by that which he has revealed to thee, that he has revealed it with his knowledge. And the angels also bear witness, and Allah is sufficient as a witness. Those who disbelieve and hinder others from Allah's way, they have indeed have erred, going far astray. Those who disbelieve and act unjustly, Allah will never forgive them nor guide them to a path, except the path of hell to abide in it for a long time. And that is easy to Allah. O mankind, the messenger has indeed come to you with truth from your Lord. So believe, it is better for you. And if you disbelieve, then surely to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and the earth. And Allah is ever knowing, wise. O people of the book, exceed not the limits in your religion, nor speak anything about Allah, but the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, is only a messenger of Allah. And his word, which he communicated to Mary and a mercy from him. So believe in Allah and his messengers and say not three, desist. It is better for you. Allah is only one God. Far be from his glory to have a son. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. And sufficient is Allah as having charge of affairs. Section 24, Prophethood of Jesus, 172. The Messiah disdains not to be a servant of Allah, nor does the angels who are near to him. And whoever disdains his service and is proud, he will gather them all together to himself. Then as for those who believe and do good, he will pay them fully their rewards and give them more out of his grace. And as for those who disdain and are proud, he will chastise them with a painful chastisement and they will find themselves besides Allah, no friend nor helper. O people, manifest proof has indeed come to you from your Lord and we have sent down to you a clear light. Then as for those who believe in Allah and hold fast by him, he will admit them to his mercy and grace and guide them to himself on the right path. They ask thee for a decision, say, Allah gives you a decision concerning the person who has neither parents nor children. If a man dies and he has no son and he has no sister, hers is half of what he leaves and he shall be her heir if she has no son. But if there be two sisters, they shall have two thirds of what he leaves. And if there are brethren, men and women, then for the male is the like of the portion of two females. Allah makes clear to you, lest you err. And Allah is knower of all things. Chapter 5, The Food. Oh, my bad, that's uh, Sean. Sean, are you there? I'm here. I apologize about that. In the name of Allah, the Magnificent, the Merciful. Section 1. 
perfection of religion and Islam. O you who believe, fulfill the obligation, the obligations. The cattle quadrupeds are allowed to you except that which is recited to you, not violating the prohibitions against game when you are on the pilgrimage. Surely Allah orders what he pleases. O you who believe, violate Violate not the, the signs of Allah, nor the sacred month, nor the offerings, nor the victims with garlands, nor those repairing to the sacred house, seeking the grace and pleasure of their Lord. When you are free from pilgrimage and from pilgrimage obligations, then hunt and let not hatred of people, of a people, because they hindered you from the sacred mosque incite you to transgress and help one another in righteousness and piety and help not one another in sin and aggression and keep your duty to Allah surely Allah is severe and requiting evil for many to you is that which dies of itself and blood and flesh of swine and that on which any other name than that of Allah has been invoked and the strangled animal and that and that meat into them and that killed my fall and that killed my horn with the horn and that which wild beast hath eaten except which you slaughter and that which is sacrificed on stones set up for idols and that you seek to divide my arrows. That is a transgression. This, this day have those who disbelieve despair of your religion. So fear them not and fear me. Fear me. This day have I perfected for you your religion and completed my favor to you and chosen for you Islam as a religion. But whoever is compelled by hunger, not inclining willfully to sin, then surely Allah is forgiven mercifully. They ask thee as to what is allowed them to say. The good things are allowed to you, and what you have taught the beasts and birds of prey, train them to hunt. You teach them of what Allah has taught you, so eat of that which they catch for you, and mention the name of Allah over it, and keep your duty to Allah, surely Allah is swift and reckoning. This day, all good things are made lawful for you, and the food of those who have been given the book is lawful for you, and your food is lawful for them, and so are the chase from among the believing woman and the chase from among those who have been given the book before you. When you give them their dowries, taking them in marriage, not fornicating, nor taking them for paramours in secret, and whoever denies faith, his work indeed is vain, and in the hereafter he is of the losers. Sister Kavar? You on mute if you're saying anything. Sister Kavar, you there? All right, Brother Khalil, you can, uh, you can go. Yes, sir. Section two, duty of uprightness. O you who believe, when you rise up for prayer, wash your faces and your hands up to the elbows and wipe your heads and wash your feet up to the ankles. And if you are under an obligation, then wash yourselves. And if you are sick or on a journey or one of you comes from me privately or you have had contact with women and you cannot find water, 
Betake yourselves to pure earth and wipe your faces and your hands therewith. Allah desires not to place a burden on you, but he wishes to purify you and that he may complete his favor on you so that you may give thanks. And remember Allah's favor you on you and his covenant with which he bound you when you said, we have heard and we obey and keep your duty to Allah. Surely Allah knows what is in the breast. O oh, you who believe, be upright for Allah, bear witness with justice, and let not hatred of a people incite you not to act equitably. Be just, that is near to observance of duty, and keep your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is aware of what you do. Allah has promised to those who believe and do good deeds, for them is forgiveness and a mighty reward. And those who disbelieve and reject our messages, such are the companions of the flaming fire. O oh, you who believe, remember Allah's favor on you when a people had determined to stretch out their hands against you, but he withheld their hands from you and keep your duty to Allah and Allah and on Allah, let the believers rely. All right, Sister Kava, you can pick back up. Section three, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I couldn't see if I was on mute. My apologize. Section three, Christian violation of the covenant. And certainly Allah made a covenant with the children of Israel, and we raised up among them 12 chieftains. And Allah said, surely I am with you if you keep up prayer and pay the poor rate and believe in my messengers and assist them and offer to Allah a goodly gift. I will certainly cover your evil deeds and cause you to enter gardens where in rivers flow. But whoever among you disbelieves after that, he indeed strays from the right way. But on account of their breaking their covenant, we curse them and harden their hearts. They alter the words from their places and neglect a portion of that whereof they were reminded. And that will always discover treachery in them, excepting a few of them. So pardon them and forgive. Surely Allah loves those who do good to others. And with those who say, we are Christian, we made a covenant, but they neglected a portion of that whereof they are reminded. So we stirred up enmity and hatred among them to the day of resurrection. And Allah will soon inform them of what they did. O oh, people of the book, indeed our messenger has come to you making clear to you much of that which you concealed of the book and passing over much. Indeed, there has come to you from Allah a light and a clear book, whereby Allah guides such as follows his pleasures into the ways of peace and brings them out of darkness into light by his will and guides them to the right path. They indeed disbelieve who say, surely Allah, he is the Messiah, son of Mary, say, who then could control anything as against Allah when he wished to destroy the Messiah, son of Mary, and his mother, and all those on the earth? And Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and what is between them? He, he, he creates what he pleases, and Allah is possessor of power over all things. And the Jews and the Christians say, we are the sons of Allah and his beloved ones. Say. Why does he then chastise you for your sins? Nay, you are mortals from among those whom he has created. He forgives whom he pleases and chastises whom he pleases. And Allah's is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and what is between them. And to him is the eventual coming. O people of the book, indeed our messenger has come to you explaining to you after a cessation, a cessation of the messengers Lest you say, there came not to us a bearer of good news, nor a warner. So indeed, a bearer of good news and a warner has come to you, and Allah is possessor of power over all things. Section 4, Israelites' Violation of the Covenant. And when Moses said to his people, O oh, my people, remember the favor of Allah to you when he raised prophets among you and made you kings and gave you what he gave not to any other of the nations 
O my people, enter the holy land, which Allah has ordained for you, and turn not your backs, for then you will turn back losers. They said, O Moses, therein are a powerful people, and we shall not enter it until they go out from it. If they go out from it, then surely we will enter. Two men of those who feared on whom Allah had bestowed a favor said, Enter upon them by the gate, for when you enter it, you will surely be victorious and put your trust in Allah if you are believers. They said, O Moses, we will never enter it so long as they are in it. Go therefore thou and thou Lord and fight. Surely here we sit. He said, My Lord, I have control of none but my own self and my brother. So distinguish between us and the transgressing people. He said, It will surely be forbidden to them for 40 years. They will wander about in the land. So grieve not for the transgressing people. Section 5, Cain and Abel, murderous plots against the prophet. And relate to them with truth the story of the two sons of Adam when they offered an offering, when it was accepted from one of them and was not accepted from the other. He said, I will certainly kill thee. The other said, Allah accepts only from the dutiful. If thou stretch out thy hand against me to kill me, I shall not stretch out my hand against me to kill thee. Surely I fear Allah, the Lord of the worlds. I will rather, I will rather that thou shouldest bear the sin against me and thy own sin. Thus thou wilt be of the companions of the fire, that is, the recompense of the unjust. At length his mind made it easy for him to kill his brother, so he killed him, so he became one of the losers. Then Allah sent a crow scratching the ground to show him how to cover the dead body of his brother. He said, woe is me. Am I not able to be as this crow and cover the dead body of my brother? So he became one of those who regret. For this reason, we prescribe for the children of Israel that whoever kills a person, unless it be for manslaughter or for mischief in the land, it is as though he had killed all men. And whoever saves a life, and it is as though he had saved the lives of all men. And certainly our messengers came to them with clear arguments. Well, even after they, after that, many of them commit a sense of in the land. The only punishment of those who wage war against Allah and his messenger is trying to make mischief in the land and that they should be murdered and crucified or their hands and their feet shall be cut off or exercised or they should be imprisoned. This shall be a disgrace for them in this world and in the hereafter they shall have a grievous chastisement. Accept those who repent before you before you overpower them so know that Allah is forgiven merciful. Sister Kavar, back to you. Well, you can go. No, I was waiting on Sister Kavar. <coughs> I think uh, she struck with the community. So, Brother Khalil, you can go ahead and go. Yes, sir. Section 6, Punishment of Offenders. O you who believe, keep your duty to Allah and seek means of nearness to him and strive hard in his way that you may be successful. Those who disbelieve, even if they had all that is in the earth and the like of it with it, to ransom themselves therewith from the chastisement of the day of resurrection, it would not be accepted from them. 
and theirs is a painful chastisement. They would desire to come forth from the fire, and they would not come forth from it. And theirs is a lasting chastisement. And as for the man and the woman addicted to theft, cut off their hands as a punishment for what they have earned. An exemplary, exemplary punishment from Allah, and Allah is mighty wise. But whoever repents after this, whoever repents after his wrongdoing and reforms, Allah will turn to him mercifully. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. Knowest thou not that Allah is he to whom belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth? He chastises whom he pleases and forgives whom he pleases. And Allah is possessor of power over all things. O messenger, let not those grieve thee who hasten to disbelieve. From among those who say with their mouths, we believe in their hearts, believe not. And from among those who are Jews, they are listeners for the sake of a lie, listeners for another people who have not come to thee. They alter the words after they are put in their proper places, saying, if you are given this, take it. And if you are not given this, be cautious. And he for whom Allah intends temptation, thou controllest not for him against Allah. Those are they whose hearts Allah intends not to purify. For them is a disgrace in this world. And for them is a grievous chastisement in the hereafter. Listeners for the sake of a lie, devourers of, of forbidden things. So if they come to thee, judge between them or turn away from them. And if thou turn away from them, they cannot harm thee at all. And if thou judge, judge between them with equity. Surely Allah loves the equitable. And how, to, and how do they make thee a judge? And they have the Torah wherein Allah's judgment. Yet they turn away after that. And these are not believers. All right, Sister Kavai, you can pick it back up here. Section seven, the Quran and previous scriptures. Surely we reveal the Torah having guidance and light. By it did the prophets who submitted themselves to Allah judge for the Jews and the rabbis and the doctors of law because they were required to guard the book of Allah and they were witnesses thereof. So fear not the people and fear me and take not a small price for my messages. And whoever judges not by what Allah has revealed, those are the disbelievers. And we prescribe to them in it that life is for life, an eye for an eye, and nose for a nose, an ear for an ear, and tooth for a tooth, and for wounds, retaliation. For whoso for, forgoes it shall be an expiation for him. And whoever judges not by what Allah has revealed, those are the wrongdoers. And we sent after them in their footsteps, Jesus, son of Mary, verifying that which was before him of the Torah. And we gave him the gospel containing guidance and light and verifying that which was before it of the Torah and a guidance and an admonition for the dutiful. And let the people of the gospel judge by that which Allah has revealed in it. And whoever judges not by what Allah has revealed, those are the transgressors. And we have revealed to be the book with truth, verifying that which is before it of the book and a guardian over it. So judge between them by what Allah has revealed and follow not their low desires, turning away from the truth that has come to thee. For every one of you, we appointed a law and a way. And if Allah had pleased, he would have made you a single people, but that he might try you in what he gave you. So by one with another in virtuous deeds, to Allah you will all return. So he will inform you of that wherein you differed. And that thou shouldest judge between them by what Allah has revealed, and follow not their low desires, and be cautious of them, lest they seduce thee, from part of what Allah has revealed to thee. Then if they turn away, know that Allah desires to afflict them for some of their sins, and surely many of the people are transgressors. It is then the judgment of ignorance 
that they desire. And who is better than Allah to judge for a people who are sure? Section 8, Relations of Muslims with Enemies. O you who believe, take not Jews and the Christians for friends. They are friends of each other. And whomever against you takes, takes them for friends, he is indeed one of them. Surely Allah guides not the unjust people. But thou seest those in whose hearts is a disease, hastening towards them, saying, We fear lest a cal calamity should befall us. Maybe Allah will bring the victory of a commandment from himself, so they will regret what they hid in their souls. <clears throat> and those who believe will say, Are these they who swore by Allah with their most forcible oaths? But they were surely with you. Their deeds will bear no fruit, so they will be losers. O you who believe, believe. <laughs> o you who believe, should any one of you turn back from his religion, then Allah will bring a people whom he loves and who loves him, humble towards the believers, mighty against the disbelievers, striving hard in Allah's way and not fearing the censure, or censure of any censurer. This is Allah's grace. He gives it to whom he pleases in Allah's ample giving knowing. Only Allah is your friend and his messenger and those who believe, those who keep up prayer and pay the poor rate, and they bow down. And whoever takes Allah and his messenger and those who believe for friend, surely the party of Allah, they shall triumph. Section 9, the mothers. <laughs> All you who believe, take not for friends those who take their religion as a mockery and a sport from among those who were given the book before you and the disbelievers. And keep your duty to Allah if you are believers. And when you call, and when you call to prayer, they take it as a mockery and a sport. That is because they are people who understand not. Say, O oh people of the book, do you find fault with us for all except that we believe in Allah and, and, and that which has been revealed to us and that which was revealed before while most of you are transgressors? Say, shall I inform you of those worse than this and retribution from Allah? They are those whom Allah has cursed and upon whom brought his wrath and and of, and of whom he made apes and swine and who served the devil. These are in a worse plight and further astray from the straight path. And when they come to you, they say, we believe and surely they come in unbelief and they go forth in it. And Allah knows best what they conceal. And thou seest many of them lying one with another in sin and transgression, and then devouring illegal gains. Certainly, evil is that which they do. Why do not the rabbis and the doctors of law prohibit them from their sinful utterance and their devouring unlawful gains? Certainly evil are the works they do. And as you say, the hand of Allah is tied up. Their hands are shackled and they are cursed for what they say. Nay, both hands are spread out. He disperses as he pleases. And, and that which has been Reveal to thee from thy Lord will certainly make many increase in, in honesty and disbelief. And we have cast among them enmity and hatred till the day of resurrection. Whenever they kindle a fire for war, Allah puts it out. And they strive to make mischief in the land, and Allah loves not the mischief maker. And if the people of the book had believed and kept their duty, we would certainly have removed from them their evils and made them enter gardens of bliss. 
And if they observe the Torah and the gospel, and that which is revealed to them from their Lord, they will certainly have eaten from above them and from beneath them, beneath their feet. There is a party of them keeping to the moderate course, and most of them, and most of them, evil is that which they do. Sister Kava. Section 10, Christian Deviation from the Truth. O messenger, deliver that which has been revealed to thee from thy Lord. And if thou do it not, thou hast not delivered his message. And Allah will protect thee from men. Surely Allah guides not the disbelieving people. Say, O people of the book, you follow no good till you observe the Torah and the gospel and that which is revealed to you from your Lord. And surely that which has been revealed to thee from thy Lord will make many of them increase in inordinacy and disbelief. So grieve not for the disbelieving people. Surely those who believe in those who are Jews and the Sabians and the Christians, whoever believes in Allah in the last day and does good, they shall have no fear, nor shall they grieve. Certainly we made a covenant with the children of Israel, and we sent to them messengers. Whenever a messenger came to them with that which their souls desired not, some of them they called liars, and some they even sought to kill. And they thought that there, were, that there would be no affliction, so they became blind and deaf. Then Allah turned to them mercifully, but many of them again became blind and deaf. And Allah is seer of what they do. Certainly they disbelieve who say, Allah, he is the Messiah, son of Mary. And the Messiah said, O oh, children of Israel, serve Allah, my Lord, and your Lord. Surely whoever associates others with Allah, Allah has forbidden to him the garden and his abode is the fire. And for the wrongdoers, there will be no helpers. Certainly they disbelieve who say Allah is the third of the three and there is no God but one God. And if they desist not from what they say, a painful chastisement will surely befall such of them as disbelieve. Will they not then turn to Allah and ask his forgiveness? And Allah is forgiving, merciful. The Messiah, son of Mary, was only a messenger. Messengers before him had indeed passed away. And his mother was a truthful woman. They both used to eat food. See how we make the messages clear to them? Then behold how they are turned away. Say, do you serve besides Allah that which controls for you neither harm nor good? And Allah, he is the hearing, the knowing. Say, O oh people of the book, exaggerate not in the matter of your religion unjustly and follow not the low desires of people who went astray before and led many astray and went astray from the right path. Brother Khalil. Yes, sir. Section 11, Christians' nearness to Islam. Those who disbelieved from among the children of Israel were cursed by the tongue of David and Jesus, son of Mary. This was because they disobeyed and exceeded the limits. They forbade not one another the hateful things they did. Evil indeed was what they did. Thou seest many of them befriending those who disbelieve. Certainly evil is that which their souls send before them, so that Allah is displeased with them, and in chastisement will they abide. And if they believed in Allah and the Prophet, and that which is revealed to him, they would not take them for friends, but most of them are transgressors. Thou wilt certainly find the most violent of people in enmity against the believers, to be the Jews and the idolaters. And thou will find the nearness to friendship to the believers to be those who say, we are Christians. That is because there are priests and monks among them and because they are not proud. All right, brothers and sisters, we have completed part number six. Do anybody want 
Did anybody uh, want to share something that stood out to them? If so, just put the number one in the comment section. Uh, but we will start with the speakers. Any of the speakers have anything that stood out to you that you would like to share? Yeah, um, I saw the section um, in the beginning, um, sort of five. Um, I got 15 on oh, people of the book. Indeed, our messenger has come to you, making clear to you much of that which you conceal of the book and pass it over much. Indeed, there has come to you from a lot a light and a clear book. Um, that right there, but I'm not now the rest of it clears it up. But I was watching, um, the series day on the minister this past series day, the war Armageddon, when he uh, addressed to the preachers that they haven't been preaching about the war Armageddon and from the Bible. They haven't been teaching that to the congregation and he expounded on that. And um, for me, that, that right there stood out because I have, my father is a, um, he's a heavenly in the church. And when it comes to the book of Revelation, it's like he's like scared of it. He won't even speak on it. <laughs> so I showed my father that part of the minister when he was saying about the preachers in the church not speaking of the war I'm getting. He went into a whole tyrant how it's not it's not the time for that and all this, you know, I don't want to get into that and make it all drown out, but that part right there stood out to me and then when the minister spoke on that to our savior's name, I was like, Wow, this is the problem with the church. They're not teaching the whole book in this turn. I think that's what stood out to me the most. A lot of it stood out from the reading, but that part right there, when in the law over in the scriptures, I miss my father's church, and I, sometimes I can't even listen to that stuff. I just gotta, and God, I come, I show my face to you, and leave. But that right there stuck out to me. Yes, sir. Thank you, Sister Kava. Yes, sir. Um, I suddenly um, Ramadan Mubarak. Um, section five. Um, I mean, chapter five, section section seven, where it talks about the Quran and previous scriptures, particularly um, the mid part of verse forty eight, when it says, um, "We appointed a law in a way he would have made you a single people, but he." but that he might try you in what he gave you. So by one another in virtuous deeds to allow you will return, he will inform you of that wherein you differed. Um, that stood out to me because I know that a lot of times we say by, you know, we should buy with one another. But I think the part on virtuous deeds that it was just showing that, you know, a lot of people have gotten between the religions, their scriptures. And if they would just do, and if we would just do right by what we were given, Allah would judge us based on what we are given. So we don't have to argue and fight with other religions. You know, um, we just have to be virtuous and do virtuous deeds according to what we were given and allow them to, you know, do right according to what they were given. So that stood out to me. Praise be to Allah. <clears throat> I got a few, so I'm going to go and then I'm going to let Brother Trent go. Or well, Brother Khalil, then Brother Trent. Um, uh, Surah 5, Ayat 46, and it says, And we sent after them in their footsteps Jesus, son of Mary, verifying that which was before him of the Torah. And we gave him the gospel containing guidance and light. I have heard that the Quran being, uh, you know, verifying the truth, but um, this stood out that 
even Jesus uh, was sent verifying that which was before him of the gospel and the Torah. And of course, we know who the Jesus of the Quran is of this time. So to have that understanding to um, of, you know, us being taught that he came in the volumes of the book, uh, reading this kind of verifies that for me and well not verifies it but confirms it um for me and supports what we already are taught uh from the teachings as well brother khalil yes sir salam alaikum ramadan mubarak ramadan um, a few things stood out to me as well and uh one that really stood out is chapter five under section one uh under verse three um, in that verse, um, I've heard the minister lift this up quite a bit. And it said, this day I have perfected for you your religion and completed my favor to you and chosen for you Islam as a religion. So um, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has done a beautiful job teaching what it means to be a Muslim and what Islam means and has busted up the division that is found in religion. Um, and so uh, even in later in the, in the, in the reading, it even, Allah even says that those who keep their duty and that those who are obedient to Allah will have their day with Allah and will be rewarded. So the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has taught that Islam means submission mm -hmm. to it means obedience. So those who are fine doing their duty, which is paying the charity, um, you know, prayer, um, being kind, being righteous, it's not the name necessarily Islam, just because you say you're following Islam or just because you're saying you're a Muslim, just because you're saying you're a Christian, it's not the label that's gonna get you into the hereafter. But Allah's favor are to those who are dutiful, no matter what they call themselves. If you are found being obedient, and if you are found doing your duty, then you will have your favor with Allah. And that is Islam. Praise be to Allah. Uh, brother uh, Trent. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan Mubarak. Um... I got part six, I got 150, those who believe, those who disbelieve in Allah and his messengers and desire to make a distinction between Allah and his messengers say we believe in some and disbelieve in others and desire to take a course in between. Uh, this stood out to me because it made me think about my Christian background. So... It say we be they believe in some and disbelieve in others. So Christians, they believe in Jesus, and that's where it stops. Uh, they don't believe in any messengers that came after uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Uh, and as we believe, Master Far Muhammad, the Honorable uh, Elijah Muhammad, and then the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. So it just stood out to me because that's where they they make their distinction like oh it's jesus and then nothing after that so it's um like they don't even recognize any messengers that came after or anything that's being said uh after jesus and they still waiting for that jesus to mysteriously come back so that's what stood out to me Yes, sir. Uh, another one that stood out, Sir 551, speaking about don't take Jews and Christians for friends. I wanted to give context on it. The context is that the Jews and Christians of that time um, were actually against the Muslims. So it was warning against the Muslims um, making allies with those um, and seeking support from those who were non-Muslims against their own people. Uh, I know when I first came in, when I looked at it, I was like, dang, man, I can't be, 
I got a lot of friends that was Christians and all this right here. And the minister teaches us that a good Christian is a good Muslim, vice versa. So then I got, they can't be friends. So uh, the context of that is uh, when, when reading this is uh, making friends and allies with those Christians and Jews at that time that were um, actually uh, allies of one another against the Muslim um, people. Also, something that stood out was uh, Surah 5, 68. I got 68. Um, and it said, Damn, is this the right one? Oh, yeah, it's the right one. Okay. Say, old people of the book, you follow no good till you observe the Torah and the gospel and that which is revealed to you from your Lord. That stood out to me because especially in this social media age that we're in, a lot of people are going to have deep things to say. And I heard a lecture of the minister where the minister said, we always looking for something new. We don't want to, you know, study our lessons, go back into our student enrollment and get understanding like we can quote it, but really, you know, uh, peel back the layers and get an understanding of the revelation that was given to us so that we can understand the times that we're in. Um, it's not just about remembering the student enrollment, being able to quote that we the Asiatic black man to make it a own the cream. Of, but what does it mean in certain time periods, being able to see and know current events and find it in the scripture um, and be able to take the guidance of Allah, the scriptures and the messengers that is uh, among us. So many of us are always looking for something new, something more deep. Uh, that people probably haven't heard before. Yeah, people have heard it, but do they understand it? So many people, all oh, the teachings been around 80, 80 plus years. Oh, we know those scriptures, but many of them don't have the understanding of it and, and don't see it in modern time, don't understand the time of what must be done. So here, you know, um, it, it reminds me of in the scripture where it talks about the, the other preachers, they they tickle the ears, tickle the ears of the people. We say what's going to get the likes. And, man, I know this one right here finna be deep. They ain't never heard this before. This going to get a lot of views. And that's cool. You know, you may get a lot of comments. But it's saying here, um, you follow no good till you observe the Torah and the gospel and that which is revealed to you. So this is just a reminder that what we have from Allah God, our Lord, and what has been given to us. Uh, from Master Far Muhammad, that revelation that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Elijah and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has given us is sufficient. We don't have to continue to try to find things outside of it to be new and be more deeper than everybody else. Anybody else? Yes, sir. I got one more thing, big brother. Yes, sir. Um. I believe it was in section four, chapter five, section four on page 254. It was just talking about, um, oh, my people enter the Holy land with Allah, which oh, enter, oh, my people enter the Holy land, which Allah has ordained for you and turn not your backs for then you will turn back losers and they said, oh, Moses, they're in our powerful people and we should not enter it until they go out from it. If they go out from it, then surely we'll enter. So they went back and forth about, you know, why they didn't want to go in there. And basically what I got from it was they were fearful. Um, and I got from it also that Allah doesn't like for believers to have fear in their heart. Um, he he identifies that as being a transgression against his covenant that he's made with the believer. So what I took from it is, is we have to constantly struggle. We have to constantly be willing to bend our will to do what Allah is commanding us to do. No matter who's in the land, he wants you to believe and stand on his truth and bend your will and struggle and, and, 
and move forward with faith. And if we don't do that, then he identifies those as disbelievers and transgressors of the law. So um, I love that because um, right now during Ramadan, we are all learning how to get back to bending our will by even getting up in the morning when we want to be in the bed, when you were playing the minister earlier, I, I love that. And I would like to get the name of that lecture, brother, that you were playing earlier, but just exercising our mind with prayer, exercising our mind during this month to bend our will, to do the will of Allah, even when it's uncomfortable, even when we want to lay in the bed, even when we find giants in the land, even when we are fearful to still bend our will to do what Allah is commanding us to do so that we can be under his favor. Praise be to Allah. I just posted the YouTube link in the chat for you. But uh, thank everyone who came on. Thank all of the readers. We will be back tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. Listen, if we, uh, if, if we, everybody get two people to show up new, get you two guests. Man, we might be at 100 people. All right, so let's get to 100 people. And as I said before, we want to continue this strive to even after Ramadan. Uh, well, we can uh, go over the minister's lectures. We can go over other books and things of that nature to continue um, con to, to uh, keep it going. So um, thank everybody again for showing up. We are going to be back tomorrow. If you guys want to get on the text list, and get a text, <clears throat> um, text the word nation to 833-276-7174, just the word nation by itself. And that will just put you on my text list and I'll shoot you a text every time we're live about anything dealing uh, with the teachings. We typically have a Twitter space as well. Um, on, over on Twitter, having a dialogue we didn't yesterday, but if we do today, I will text you guys. That's where you will start to get the text messages, and um, that's it. That's all of the announcements. So, assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak. Alaikum salam. Alaikum salam. Ramadan. Ramadan. Ramadan.